Hello and welcome to this new video. Today I'm gonna show you the functions, settings and advantages of the HAL 9K mode. Also I will show you how I set up my device, which apps I use and so on. Let's get started. First of all we go into settings, system, language and input and choose your language. I will stay on English for this video. In the next step we go into network and internet and set up our Wi-Fi connection. After setting up Wi-Fi connection, we go into the Play Store and log in to our account. In the next step, we should update all apps. Next, we will download our favorite apps. Internet Speed Meter Lite for monitoring the speed of the internet connection. Also AIM for music playback, as it support day and night mode since Android 10 on these devices. Swift Backup for backup and restore our data. MacroDroid for device automation. TomTom -tom Amigo for navigation and speed cameras. Backlight Auto Level for automatic brightness control based on sunrise and sunset. Ubiquiti Music Widget because it supports all major media players. And my last favorite app is Spotify. After install all these apps, I will start Internet Speed Meter Lite to display the speed of the internet connection. In the next step, we have to update Magisk. We go into this app, click on Update, Allow, Install, Settings, Allow, Install once again, Open. Now we have updated the Magisk Manager. Now we will update Magisk. Here we click on Update. Direct install, let's go. Reboot. So now we have updated Magisk and Magisk Manager. This firmware is fully rooted. In the next step, we will backup and restore our data. This process you have to do on your old device and backup your data. And on the new device here, we have to restore it. I will sign in with Google. And here I will grant the root rights. Now we have to allow the access to the memory. Now we have to connect a USB flash drive or a microSD. Once again, first you have to do this process on your old device, back up your data and afterwards we can restore it. In the next step we click on this icon and choose our USB flash drive. Apply and restart. I understand. If you already have a backup you can move the files to the new storage location. I will hit do nothing. So now we can choose apps we want to backup. I wouldn't choose apps that already exist on this new firmware, like Gmail, GPS Test Plus, Google Maps, MTC Dialer, Speech Services by Google, Viber for Android and YouTube. So these are my apps I want to backup. Now I hit backup options. So now we have to choose the parts we want to backup. I will choose App and Split APKs, Data, XData and Expansion. Everything. And hit Backup. If the backup is ready, we click on Done. Now we have a backup from all of our apps. And if we have a backup, we can also restore these apps. Just click from Device and choose the apps you want to restore. These are all apps which are located on my USB flash drive. And now I will choose the apps I want to restore. Now we click on Restore Options and Restore. That's it. Now we have restored all of our apps. And as for an example, if I go into Stelio Player, I can see the cover of the song which I played the last. So now we have installed and restored all of our apps. And we can move to the next step. In the next step I would like to adjust the launcher. To delete these two widgets we have to move all of these apps to another site. Now the first page with this widget is gone. Our second page is now our first. Now we can set up this page and it will stay even after a restart. Apps that I don't need I will move to the last page. So now this is my first page. 
we go into Ubiquiti Music Widget and allow the notification access. Now we can create a widget. And this is how it's finally look like. If everything is fine, we can move to the mod settings where all the magic happens. The first setting is the setting for the screen saver. Here we can set either a whitelist for application that allow to start a screen saver or a blacklist of application that do not allow to start a screen saver. Then we can set stop the screen saver by only touching the screen or not. Then we can set the screen saver some additional screensaver settings and the settings for the Android screensaver. Now we have application settings for radio. Here we can set different groups for the radio app. For example, in your home area you have saved all your favorite radio stations. And if you went to vegetation you can set another group. For example B. If you come back from vegetation you can set again to group A and you will get back your saved radio stations in group A. The next point and the most important in my opinion is manage applications. Here we can change the behavior of application in sleep mode. In the first list we can set application that do not close when in sleep mode. Spotify does not belong in here. Spotify belongs to another list. Here we can set something like TomTom Tom Amigo, Google Chrome if you use it. Here we go. Internet Speed Meter Lite. Macrodroid. Google Maps. Ubiquiti Music Widget. Viber for Android if you use it. Yandex Navigation. And click OK. These are the applications I used in this list. In the next list, we can set up media players that restart after sleep. For example, AIMP. DABZ, Music, Radio, Spotify, Stereo Player, YouTube Music. In the next list we can set up media players that should not work together. This is important for the audio focus for example. We can set up all of your used media players. In the next list we can set up applications that are switched by the mode button. For example, AIMP, the ABZ and Spotify. You can also set Spotify and Google Maps for example. In the next setting we can set application that start instead of the stock. For example we can use the ABZ instead of radio. In the next list we can set navigation apps that muffle other sounds. For example Google Maps. In this list we can use apps that use text to speech. For example TomTom Tom Amigo. And in the last setting we can set the text-to-speech engine. In the last list we can set up apps that have access to USB devices. For example, if you are using the EBZ, you always get this message, you want to allow the USB access. Just set up the EBZ and that's it. The next cool thing you can find in hardware settings, this setting is for old PX5 devices which had problems with the USB controller with cold temperatures. You can enable it and then a script will run in the background and your USB devices will work again. And this is a point which I'm a big fan of. Adjusting the volume depending on the speed. Enabled adjustment. Here you can set the thresholds. Here you can switch between miles and kilometers. Here you can increase the volume step. And this setting is for showing the volume control during the adjustment. Another setting is volume control. Here you can set the style. Default is Android style, you can also set the AV style, then it looks like this. You can also change the position to top, center or bottom. You can also increase the timeout. The next option replacing key codes is for older BMW cars, for example E39 or E46. With this option they can change the steering wheel control. The next feature status bar is for customizing the status bar. Here you can enable home button, application title, notification style, storage icon. You can also enable the status bar at the bottom, volume, screen brightness, 
recent applications, power button, menu button. You can also change the back button to the right side or set to gone. So the next feature is for ringtone. Here you can change your ringtone when you get a call. The next setting is for TTL value. Some people need these options, some doesn't. Here you can disable the full screen keyboard if you don't like it. The next option is system update. This 5.0 option is available for everyone for free with all the settings, with root, with MTC dialer. But you can also visit the website of HAL9K and purchase a OTA key and enter this OTA key here. Let me do this. After entering the key, your device has to restart once. After the restart, we will get a message, a OTA update is available. By pressing yes, the update will be automatically downloaded and automatically installed. Now we can see the current version is 5.0.1. This update enables a lot of features. For example, in application settings, we have common settings. We can show pop-up messages on the top of the launcher. If the music track has changed or the radio station has changed, this is a cool thing. You can enable the pop-up messages for radio, music, A2DP music, third-party media players. In video, you also have background playback. In AVN also. In DVR, you can run this app in background. These are the options in application settings. In manage applications, we will get um, applications that will work in immersive mode. For example, I choose AIMP. If I now open AIMP, you can see it's without a status bar. This last option is for resetting the launcher. At the top of Manage Application, we can find a new option, application that start after booting the device. Here you can set a list of applications that should start after a complete boot. Here you can enable advanced mode, you can also start activities or services. You can add a delay, you can add a delay after the next app. And you can also enable go to the home screen after the auto start. Also in hardware settings, we will get much much more GPS settings. We can increase the measurement frequency of GPS up to 10 Hz. We can also use Baidu instead of GLONASS. We can choose the GPS receiver. This is the setting for PX5 and PX6. Also, you can set the speed of USB. If you are using a USB deck, this is a useful setting. We can also enable or disable the Ethernet interface. And we can set additional screen dimming in night mode. If you go to settings, display, night display, you can set an additional level of dimming. Under the point volume control, we have now this option volume control from third party applications. Now you can use Google Assistant to increase or decrease the volume. Another little setting is this disable device shutdown message. So this were the mod settings where the magic happens. Now I show you some other functions. For example, you can install another equalizer for units with DSP. Go to APK Installer, Install, OEM, and choose this M setup. Click Open. This equalizer is only for devices with DSP. This is like the stock equalizer for DSPs, but with delay and much, much more settings. The next really cool function is MTC Dialer. With MTC Dialer, you can make calls by using Google Assistant or Direct Dial. For example, my phone, I press Call Test, and the call will be forwarded to my phone via Bluetooth. The next possibility to make a call is by reassign a key on your device or reassign a key on your steering wheel. For example, I have reassigned this power button. Make a call, Call Test. Now the call has forwarded to my smartphone via Bluetooth. And the coolest possibility, you can simply say, OK Google, call test. Now also the call is forwarded to my smartphone. So the next function is Viper for Android. Viper for Android can be used for 
improve the sound quality, just grant the root rights. After the first opening, the device have to restart once. Now we can open Wiper for Android again. Settings, choose Legacy Mode, enable Master Limiter. And here we can see status enabled. Wiper for Android is a really nice app to improve the sound quality. So this was my video about the functions, settings and advantages of the HAL 9K mod. This wasn't all functions. Please look into the changelog for all functions. I will link it down in the video description. If you like this video and you think this video was helpful, give the video a thumbs up. If you are not yet a subscriber of my channel, then subscribe to it. Bye and see you next time.